Okay, folks, greetings from northern Michigan. And this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. All right, well, I got a couple things on my mind. Uh, maybe you can see it's a beauteous day. Beauteous day. And that is smoke coming from my wood stove here in the, in the butcher shop. And I got it billowing because it's cold. 16 below this morning and not a cloud in the sky beautiful sun hit me you wouldn't know it's that cold really if you didn't have a uh, thermometer to look at and thermometers can be a problem sometimes because they limit what we do because it's cold outside but i tell you what it was cold last night we did have a little bit of wind things cooled off pretty good i kept the heater running in the shop last night propane heater just cuz and uh, everything maintained we made it through all the animals are fine we've checked them all everybody's doing good um, but what it made me think about and I'm gonna share this on the homesteaders guild too so uh, and I'm gonna really expound on it I can't in this setting but homesteading what is it really is it a is it a place I don't think it is. I think it's a state of mind. I think I was homesteading when I lived in Tokyo, Japan, honestly, because I have that same drive, that same intrigue as I did back then, you know, to explore new things and discover new things, technologies and oh, just the way things work. And a lot of it's real basic, um, but it's something that as Americans living in a convenience-based society, we don't ever get to see. But it's really pretty cool stuff. Like, you know, like growing a greenhouse, uh, like going to the garden and pulling out corn, bringing it right to the house and cooking it. And something that came to me this morning was, my father used to say to me, life is about perspective. And, uh, you know, we had to deal with getting up this morning and the, the floors were kind of cold. Had to open up the vent on the wood stove, get things rolling again. And I thought, you know what, I need to put a propane furnace in here. So when I get up in the morning, this place is 70 degrees. I don't know if I'd want to do that. Because when the house did get warmed up, I thought, this is nice. But then when I go to bed at night and I know it's cool, but I got plenty of bedding, that's nice too. So I don't know if the conveniences are all they're cracked up to be all the time. But anyway, uh, talk about perspective. Coming out into the, the, the dark, cold air that's 15, 16 below is uh, an experience. I mean, it's not bad. I wouldn't want to sleep outside in it. But it gives you perspective. And I think that's what homesteading is about. Uh, when we always have food on the shelf at the store, we don't have perspective of what it's like to have to provide our own food. Or, or like it's happened to me a couple times where I haven't had food for a, a few days or even, you know, like very little food for a week or something like that. That gives you real perspective and, and you can really appreciate the food that you grow so I want to delve into that a little bit but I wanted to kind of uh, share the experience that I had this morning about homesteading like really what is it uh, because I've had people you know this conversation is really getting rolling now and um, people are saying well I'm gonna homestead as soon as I get some land well, that could be a long time, and you want to wait, or do you want to get after it right now? I think you need to get after it right now. So what are the components of homesteading? You know, I, I really think the most important component is your state of mind. Um, you never know, like right now we have uh, relatively uh, good conveniences here. I don't have to... I don't have to come out here in the morning and use that hand pump right there. 
I can just turn the tap and I've got water there. I got an electric water heater in my basement. So I have hot water coming up when I need it. So, you know, I've got it pretty good. I don't want it to where I have to use that hand pump. I don't want it to where I have to, you know, heat water on the wood stove. I kind of like it the way it is. But it's nice to know that if you, if you had to, you could. That's nice to know. It's a good feeling. So anyway, I, I just want to develop that idea of, of uh, homesteading being a state of mind and your state of mind really is all about perspective. You know, it's all about perspective. And, and when we're homesteading, we get to, we get to, hit, to hit the fringes on both sides. We get to feel, uh, you know, the cold. We get to feel, oh, it's, now it's warm. We get to take a cold bath. Oh, now we get to take a warm bath. Then you see what I'm saying. It's, it's kind of uh, a broader spectrum of experiencing your life and then like what are you for what are you all about are you able to feed yourself are you able to keep yourself warm are you able to you know what I'm saying are you able to provide the things that you need and could I provide everything I need no I, I don't have a refinery here I need gasoline I can't do that I'm working on it working on it but I, I can't do everything in this and I don't think anybody can uh, maybe some people can. Maybe you could just cut out the things that you aren't able to provide for yourself. Well, we could talk about that. But every time that you're able to do something for yourself, there comes a victory with that. And there comes a, a perspective change. And there's a, it adds a richness to your life. It's like being educated, you know. When you go to college, you learn all these things that you didn't know before. And wow. They, that's cool. But then when you use those things and it changes your lifestyle, then you gain the perspective on it. Anyway, it's Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, stay warm today and remember, anyone can farm.